Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to discuss here what is meant by an concept of an hybrid electric drive train and what is the need of an power train and what is meant by an drive train. So basically let's try to discuss about the need of an power train. Basically what is meant by an power train let's try to discuss slowly so the basic need of a power train is first one is the power train helps us to develop sufficient power okay so we need to develop the required amount of uh, power to meet the demands of an vehicle performance for example vehicle has to climb an uh, high gradient uh, then our power train need to develop uh, the sufficient amount of power Okay, so it has to develop the amount of required amount of power to move the drive train with an given gradable angle of uh, 30 degrees. And this should carry some energy on board. So it should have an on board source of energy and off board source of energy. So that's what the importance of a power train. Now come to the power train. So what is meant by an power train and what is meant by an drive train and how we are going to differentiate a power train with an drive train. So power train is generally, so power train is a combination of energy source and energy converter. So this is a combination of energy source and energy converter. What is meant by energy source? We generally have the energy sources are battery and next energy source is petrol or diesel or fuel cell. So these are different types of energy sources we have. Energy converters. In an electric vehicle, the energy converter is we are converting the AC supply to DC supply. The energy converter is nothing but the motors. What are the different types of motors we use in electric vehicle is permanent magnet synchronous motor and brushless DC motor. These are the two types of motors what we use in a power train. So power train means just understand that this is an energy source combined with an energy converter. In simple layman language I can say the combination of a battery and an motor is called as a power train. One more let us try to assume this is a power train 1. So this is power train 1 which is a combination of an battery and an motor. So now let us try to see another type of power train. So we have the another power train is made up of engine which is nothing but uh, this engine use the fuel as petrol and diesel or only petrol plus use the fuel as petrol and the type of converter is nothing but engine. So if you use fuel or diesel this is nothing but the energy source and in an IC engine the energy converter is nothing but engine. We have two stroke engines and four stroke engine which is called as energy converter. So this will constitute as power train 2 which has the energies as petrol or diesel and combined with an energy. We have one more type of source which is nothing but a hydrogen fuel cell. So this is also one more source where we are going to call it as a power train 3 which consists of an, an hydrogen fuel cell as a source and it consists of an electric motor again so which is nothing but a brushless dc motor or an bl dc motor this is all about a power train what is meant by a power train with different energy sources and different energy converters power train one is nothing but battery with an motor is called electrical power train power train two is nothing but petrol or diesel is the energy source and converter is nothing but a two stroke engine or a four stroke engine when you come to an hydrogen fuel cell just this uses the input as a water it undergoes the electrolysis and it splits as hydrogen where this is called hydrogen fuel cell and by using this fuel the motor try to propel so these are the three types of power train now what is meant by an dry train so group of power train so how many power trains we are have so we have group of power trains group of power trains is called as a drive train 
okay so group of power train is called drive train drive means which try to move from one place to another place so you are in one place and you have to reach an destination of another place then these are called as a drive train so group of power train i can say that this complete group of power train this is called as a drive train so this complete group is called as drive train so multiple power trains are added to give an output of a drive train this is all about a power train and all about a drive train so now let's try to see different types of uh, operations in this power train as well as the drive train the main index we have uh, multiple power trains and multiple drive trains generally an hybrid electric vehicle has an uh, drive train but generally an electric vehicle has an power train so power train means just understand it is an combination of energy source and energy converter but in a hybrid electric vehicle we don't want power train we require group of power trains uh, where this is called as drive train where these are called as drive train this is all about uh, different types of uh, power train and drive train now let us try to understand uh, the concepts one by one and how many ways of uh, power flows are there in our electric vehicle so coming to here we have to try to understand different power flows uh, power train and drive train so we'll continue in the next session thank you